Next on BGSU, Brain Game. It is Evergreen versus Upper Sandusky. This is going to be a battle of the cranial karatekas. Only one team can leave victorious. Who's it going to be? Only one way to find out. BGSU's Brain Game starts right now. And welcome to BGSU Brain Game. It is Evergreen versus Upper Sandusky. Let's take a look at our starting lineups for Evergreen, coached by Mr. Blanchong. In slot number one, we have Sophia, a sophomore. In slot number two, we have Caleb, a senior. And in slot number three, we have Ethan, a sophomore. Now let's take a look at Upper Sandusky, coached by Mr. Frazy, also known as Mr. Freeze. In slot number one, we have Catherine, a senior. In slot number two, we have Daniel, a senior. And in slot number three, we have Sergio, a sophomore. That's your starting lineup for BGSU Brain Game. Let's take a look at what's coming up next, and that is, of course, the toss-up round. All questions in this round are worth 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, and you can, I repeat, you can steal a question in this round. Evergreen, Upper Sandusky, are you ready? Then here we go. First question, what term refers to the minimum speed needed to escape a certain body's, that would be Upper Sandusky, Sergio? Terminal velocity. Incorrect, certain body's gravitational Pull, Evergreen, chance to steal. That would be Caleb. The escape velocity? Escape velocity is what we needed there, correct. What liver disease is often caused by excessive alcohol? That would be Evergreen, Ethan. Cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is correct. Multiple choice question. In probability, what is the name given to two sets that share no elements in common? That would be Evergreen, Ethan. Independent. Incorrect. Is it A, disjoint, B, binomial distribution, or C, independent variable? Upper Sandusky, chance to steal. That would be Daniel. A. It is A, correct. Disjoint is what we needed there. This three letter word that begins with an O is a synonym for strange. That would be Evergreen, Caleb. Odd. Odd is indeed correct. What is the simple subject of the following sentence? Bring me the sugar. That would be Evergreen, Caleb. Is it you? It is you, correct. Among the U.S. states, which one was the first to call for a convention to ratify the Constitution and was home to our nation's capital, from, that would be Upper Sandusky, Sergio. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is correct. In many fairy tales, an object plays an integral role in the story. Give the name of the fairy tale in which a tainted apple plays a major role. That would be Evergreen, Ethan. Snow White. Snow White is correct. In order to provide visual proof that the Earth rotated, French physicist Léon Foucault performed a simple experiment with a pendulum at the Panthe Pantheon for the world to watch in the 19th century. What item did he suspend from the dome of this structure? Time? Not in time. I'm sorry, it was a cannonball. Multiple choice Question, what device is used by biologists to predict the genotype of the offspring of a particular genetic cross? Is it A, a Punnett square? That would be Evergreen, Caleb. A. A is correct. Punnett square is correct. It is the largest nonpolar desert in the world. It is almost the size of the entire United States. Name this desert found in Northern Africa. Upper Sandusky, Sergio. Sahara. Sahara is correct. 
That is all 10 questions in the round. Let's take a look at our score. We have Upper Sandusky with 30 points. Evergreen currently in the lead with 60 points, but we're just getting started here, folks. Coming up next, next is the risk and reward round, so stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Upper Sandusky, 30 points. Evergreen, 60 points. Before we get to uh, our next round, let's uh, welcome some of our new players. For Evergreen in slot number one, we have Rachel. And for Upper Sandusky in slot number one, we have Madeline. So welcome to our two new players and welcome to our returning players from the last round. This is the risk and reward round. Both teams are going to get the same questions. The first nine are 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer, so you can play a little bit looser on the buzzers. The tenth question, though, is a little bit different. It is the risk and reward question. We're going to give you a topic. You can risk up to 30 points in five-point increments on that topic. You get it right, bonus points. Get it wrong or a non-answer, negative points. However, if you don't like the topic, you can simply pass. Sound good? All right, Evergreen 60 points, Upper Sandusky 30 points, meaning Upper Sandusky, out you go, off to isolation. All right, Evergreen, are you ready for your risk and reward round? Yeah. All right, here we go. How many different game pieces are used in chess? That would be Caleb. Six. Six is correct. If you are served on Dewey, what will you be eating? That would be Caleb. Something watery. Nope. Sausage. Any guess is better than no yes. guess. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, true or false? The muscles in our eyes that alter the shape of the lens are called sartorius muscles. That would be Caleb. True. It is false. It is. Ciliary muscles is what we needed there. After Fatima marries Bluebeard, she discovers something locked away in a room she is forbidden to open. What does she find? She finds the bodies of Bluebeard's previous wives, which is rather awful. Okay, next question. Multiple choice. How many sons were cast away with their parents in Johann Weiss's novel, The Swiss Family Robinson? What are the Oh, options? multiple choice, sorry. A, three, B, four, or C, five? That would be Caleb. B, four. Four is correct. His parents showed great forbearance when the child acted up in the store. Spell forbearance. That would be Caleb. F-O-R-E-B-E-A-R-A-N-C-E. -E. Incorrect. F-O-R-B-E-A-R-A-N-C-E. -E. All right. Next question is also a multiple choice question. In what year was NATO founded? A, 1947, B, 1949, or C, 1951? That would be Ethan. B. B is correct, 1949, correct. In what building was Lincoln assassinated? That would be Ethan. Ford Theater. Ford Theater is correct. This weak acid whose formula is H, P, 304 is primarily used in fertilizers. Name it. That would be Caleb. Hydrogen phosphate? Incorrect. Phosphoric acid. Risk and reward time. The topic is physics. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments or you can pass. Should we at least hear the question? So all right. We'll wager five points. Five points on physics. In physics, what does the lowercase Greek letter rho signify? 
That would be Ethan. Dimension. Density. Density is what we were looking for there. Negative five points, but what we're going to do now is we're going to clear your score, send you off to isolation. We'll see how Upper Sandusky does. All right, let's bring back in Upper Sandusky. Come on in. Welcome back, Upper Sandusky. I hope uh, isolation treated you well. You ready for the risk and reward round? All right, here we go. How many different game pieces are used in chess? Okay, pawn, knight, bishop, rook, king, queen. Very 16. Six. Ah, sorry, didn't buzz in, didn't buzz in, but you were correct. It was six, but you need to make sure you buzz in. If you are served andouille, what will you be eating? That would be Daniel. Cheese. Incorrect. Sausage. We would also have accepted meat. True or false, the muscles in our eyes that alter the shape of the lens are called sartorius muscles. That would be Daniel. True. Incorrect. It's false. It's ciliary, ciliary muscles. Uh, the other are in your legs. Uh, after Fatima marries Bluebeard, she discovers something locked away in a room she is forbidden to open. What does she find? That would be Daniel. A box. Incorrect. She finds the bodies of Bluebeard's previous wives. Multiple choice. How many sons were cast away with their parents in the Johann Weiss novel, The Swiss Family Robinson? Is it A, three? B, four, or C, five? That would be Daniel. Four. Four is correct. His parents showed great forbearance when the child acted up in the store. Spell forbearance. That would be Daniel. F-O-R-B-E-A-R-A-N-C-E. -E. Correct. Multiple choice again. In what year was NATO founded? Is it A, 1947, B, 1949, or C, 1951? That would be Daniel. 1949. 1949 is correct. In what building was Lincoln assassinated? Ford's Theater. That would be Sergio. Ford's Theater. Correct. This weak acid, whose formula is HP3O4, is primarily used in fertilizers. Name it. In time? Yes? In time, that would be Daniel. Uh, ammonia? Incorrect. Phosphoric acid is what we were looking for there. Risk and reward time. The topic is Physics, you can risk up to 30 points in five point increments, or you can pass. What does Upper Sandusky want to do? 15. 15 points on physics. Here we go. In physics, what does the lowercase Greek letter rho signify? It's the coefficient of friction. Yeah. That would be Daniel. Coefficient of friction? Incorrect, it's actually density. Density is what we needed there. We're going to wipe our scores now and let's bring back in Evergreen so we can see where everyone stands. All right, let's see where we stand. Upper Sandusky has 55 points. Evergreen stands at 95 points. A very, very close competition still indeed because coming up next is our category round where questions are worth 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 points. Deductions are going to start. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Upper Sandusky with 55 points and Evergreen with 95 points. Before we get to our next round, let's welcome some substitute players. For Evergreen in slot number one, we have Jada. And for Upper Sandusky in slot number one, we have Jamison. Uh, both of them are juniors. Both of them are juniors. All right, uh, this is the category round. Power now shifts a little bit to you, our teams. There are six categories to choose from. Inside each category are questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points. But 
deductions. I repeat, deductions start now. So if you go for 20, you're actually risking 20 points as well. You may confer before buzzing in and you can steal a question in this round. And there's one double or nothing question hiding somewhere in there. All right, uh, Upper Sandusky, you have the uh, first selection. Uh, let's do four letter synonyms for 15. Four letter synonyms for 15 points. I will give you a word and a letter. You are to name the four letter synonym. Gracious, the letter is K. That would be Evergreen, Caleb. Kind. Kind is correct, Evergreen takes control. Let's do sleep for 25. Sleep for 25. I will describe a concept associated with sleep. You will re reply with the correct sleep related term. People with this condition Stop breathing several times. That would be Evergreen. Caleb. Sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is correct. Evergreen still in control. Let's do 30, please. Sleep for 30 points. Hypnic jerk is a feeling many people have just when they are drifting off to sleep. What is it? That would be Upper Sandusky. Jameson. Spasms of the body when going to sleep. Cannot accept that. Sorry. Evergreen. Chance to steal. It's actually a feeling of falling, feeling of falling. Evergreen, in control. Uh, science with pH, 10. Science, pH for 10 points. Identify these science terms that begin with the letters pH. Identify the food making process performed by, that would be Upper Sandusky, Daniel. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is correct. Upper Sandusky takes back control. Uh, let's do circles for 15. Circles for 15 points. How many degrees are in a circle? That would be Upper Sandusky, Daniel. 360. 360 is correct. Upper Sandusky in control. Let's do circles for 20. Circles for 20 points. What name is given to one half of a circle? That would be Evergreen, Caleb. A semicircle. Semicircle is correct. Evergreen takes back control. Circles 10. Circles now for 10 points. What Four syllable word is the name given to the distance around the outside that would be Upper Sandusky. Sergio. Circumference. Circumference is correct. Upper Sandusky in control. Golfs for 15. Golfs for 15 points. Based on the given description, identify each golf. North American Western Golf, that would be Evergreen. Ethan. Golf of Mexico. Incorrect. Also known as the Sea of Cortez. Upper Sandusky, chance to steal. That would be Upper Sandusky. Daniel. Golf of Tonkin. Incorrect. The Gulf of California is what we needed there. Upper Sandusky in control. Circles 25. Circles for 25 points. What type of circles have the same center point but have different diameters? That would be Upper Sandusky, Daniel. Similar. Incorrect, Evergreen, chance to steal. That would be Caleb. Cocentric. Cocentric circles is correct. Evergreen in control. Let's do circles 30, please. Circles now for 30 points. What do we call the arc bounded by two radii of a circle? That would be Evergreen, Caleb. A sector. Excuse me? A sector. Sector is correct, yes. Evergreen in control. Sleep 10, please. Sleep for 10 points. Scientists believe that most dreams occur in this kind of sleep. That would be Upper Sandusky, Daniel. REM sleep. Incorrect. Evergreen, Caleb. NREM 3. In, incorrect. Um, I could have finished the question for you. It was abbreviated as REM. We were looking for what it stood for. Rapid eye movement is what we look at, we're looking for there. Uh, Evergreen, you're still in control. Sleep 15. Sleep for 15 points. What does synambulism mean? That would be Evergreen. Caleb. Sleep walking. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. Evergreen still in control. Sleep 20, please. Sleep now for 20 points. Double or nothing time. This condition may cause sufferers to fall asleep uncontrollably several times during the day. That would be Evergreen. Caleb. Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is correct, but if it happens to me, it's Marcolepsy. That's a little joke. Sorry about that one. Evergreen in control. Science 15. Science for 15 points. 
What highly reactive chemical element has a chemical symbol of P? That would be evergreen, Caleb. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is correct. Uh, in control is evergreen. Science 20. Science now for 20 points. Give the term for the back of the human throat where the nose and mouth cavity meet. That would be evergreen. Ethan. The pharynx. We will accept it, yes. Evergreen in control. Science 25. Science for 25 points. What term refers to the thin outer layer that forms the visible surface of the sun? That would be Upper Sandusky. Sergio. Photosphere. Photosphere is correct. Control now goes to Upper Sandusky. End of round. Let's take a look at our score. Currently, Upper Sandusky 35, Evergreen 275. Stay tuned. Brainstorm rounds coming up next. Welcome back to BGSU Brain Game, Upper Sandusky 35, Evergreen 275. Before we get to our final round, let's welcome some new players. For Evergreen in slot number one, we have Jordan. For Upper Sandusky in slot number one, Catherine has returned. And in Upper Sandusky slot number three, Madeline has returned. And welcome, of course, to all of our returning players from the previous round. This is the Brainstorm Round, AKA All the Marbles. 20 points a piece per question, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, but no, nada, no stealing in this round. We move immediately to the next question. Upper Sandusky, Evergreen, are you ready? Brainstorm starts right now. Which amendment to the U.S. Constitution is known as the Lame Duck Amendment? Time, uh, not in time, not in time. 20th Amendment there. Name the endocrine gland found in the front of the trachea. Evergreen, Caleb. Pituitary gland. Incorrect, thyroid. Who drew detailed plans for a helicopter in the 1400s? That will be Evergreen, Ethan. Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. Correct, Leonardo da Vinci. What is the capital of Cuba? That will be Evergreen, Ethan. Havana. Havana is correct. How many lines are in a sonnet? That will be Evergreen, Ethan. 14. 14 is correct. How many bones are in the adult human body? Evergreen, Caleb. 206. 206 is correct. Which player on a baseball team may be called for balking? That would be Upper Sandusky, Catherine. The catcher. Incorrect, it's the pitcher. In what city was the Globe Theater built? That would be Evergreen, Jordan. Paris. Incorrect, London. What four letter word is a synonym for labyrinth? That would be Evergreen, Caleb. Maze. Maze is indeed what we were looking for. What Greek dramatist wrote the play Agamemnon? Time. Aeschylus is what we needed there. What is the tallest land animal? That would be Upper Sandusky, Daniel. Giraffe. Giraffe is correct. What Egyptian queen stole the hearts? Of, that would be Evergreen, Ethan. Cleopatra. Cleopatra of Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. What musical concept written with a pound sign raises Upper Sandusky, Daniel. Sharp. Sharp is correct. In what US state would one be traveling if one encountered a city named Kalamazoo? That would be Upper Sandusky, Catherine. Michigan. Michigan is correct. Michigan's thumb, by the way, projects into what Great Lake? That would be Evergreen, Jordan. Lake Superior. Incorrect, Lake Huron is what we needed there. Albert Einstein, end of round. Let's take a look at our score. Upper Sandusky, 75. Evergreen, our winner, with 335 points. Let's give both these teams a big round of applause. Now, in the spirit of good sportsmanship, let's come out, meet in the middle, shake hands, and we will see you at the next BGSU Brain Game.